Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a good week. Welcome to this During the Week video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. It's Wednesday afternoon, and I'm not sure if anyone watching this video recognizes where I am. I tell you, there's really not a lot to look in behind me to give you an idea of where it is. Although I think one of at least one of our members probably might have a good idea where I am. I'll go ahead and tell you. I'm here in the conference room of the Moravian Ministries Foundation, and there are a couple of reasons why I'm here today that I'll share with you in a few minutes. I want to thank everyone who came to our worship service this past Sunday. It was Father's Day. It's great seeing many of our dads at the service. Besides recognizing all our dads and stepdads at the service, there were some other things we did. Some of our synod delegates shared about the recent provincial synod that was a couple of weeks ago, and I want to thank Paula Hall and Ethan Smith for their sharing, and they gave some wonderful reports about Synod. This past Sunday, I had some Moravian friends with me who were passing through on their way to the Outer Banks. After the service, we had lunch and they shared with me how much they appreciated hearing about what was going on here in the southern province of the Moravian Church. And I hope all of us appreciated hearing about it, those that were there and those who watched the service. And if you haven't seen it yet, I hope you will. Also, this past Sunday, we received new members. We welcome Perry and Renee Bowman, Jimmy and Julie Owen, and Jim and Kathy Pickett to our church family. Family, and that also helped make it a very special service for us. Also, this past Sunday, I concluded my family series of messages as I talked about God's call to be a dad. Speaking of messages, this Sunday, I'm going to begin my Summer You Ask For It series of sermons. Several people have given me great topics on what to preach about in these summer months. People have also given me some of their favorite hymns and songs, their You Ask For It hymns. For me, I look forward to working on the messages and sharing them with you, and I look forward to us singing a lot of great hymns and songs this summer. Now, if you haven't gotten your suggestions in, you still have until the end of this week. Just send me an email or a text or call the church office with your suggestions. Here's some other things coming up for us. Rachel is having a tea fellowship at the church tomorrow on Thursday, Thursday afternoon at two o'clock. Everyone is more than welcome to come to this time of sharing, devotions, and prayer. Our preschool has three more upcoming weeks of their summer fun program. The next one is next week. If you're interested or know of any families who might be, check out our church communications for more information. This Sunday, I am offering a new members class to anyone who'd like to join our church family or who'd like to know more about our church. Uh, the class will be during our Sunday school time. It starts at 10 o'clock. It, it will be held in the church office. And I hope you can be with us this Sunday. As I mentioned earlier, I'm starting the You Ask For It series. Please come if you're able to, because it's always great to see you at King Moravian. Here's some of our prayer concerns. Let's remember Dottie Jones. Dottie's recovering from really two recent surgeries. She has been a patient at Baptist Hospital. Her first surgery a couple of weeks ago did not go as, as, we, as she had hoped to and as we had hoped to see happen. Uh, she had to have another surgery this past week that did go well. She is now at the Stick Center there at the Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center uh, where she is dealing, go, undergoing some rehabilitation. Let's continue to pray for Virginia Southern as she continues her re recovery from recent knee surgery. Uh, it was great seeing Virginia at church this past Sunday, and she's coming right along with her recovery, and we're very thankful for that. Ken Alley, as he continues his recovery from double pneumonia, we just pray that he can continue to get stronger, and hopefully the day will come he'll be back with us at King Moravian. Mac Powell, as he continues to deal with his cancer. Eric Emery, uh, Eric is scheduled to have a heart valve replacement tomorrow on Thursday. Please keep him in your prayers. Uh, Barbara Sudal has asked that we pray for her father, Dewey Day. He's been dealing with cellulitis. He had to have emergency surgery where a part of his leg was amputated. Um, he has been at Forsyth Hospital and now he's uh, going through rehab. So please keep him in your prayers. Let's pray for those in our church family who are dealing with COVID, our healthcare workers as they continue to deal with that. The people of Ukraine, we pray the war will come to an end and hopefully soon. Uh, there's certainly a lot of suffering going on in that nation. So uh, I certainly pray that God will be with the people there in a very special way. And certainly continue to remember those who are on our prayer list. Let us know if there's anything that we need to about them. If there's anybody we need to add to our list, let us know that too. 
Now, there are a couple of reasons that I'm here at the Moravian Ministries Foundation. This office is located at the Salem Tower Building, which is in Winston-Salem on Brookstown Avenue, pretty close to Old Salem, and it's the building beside the Children's Museum, which I think maybe has a new name, uh, the Caladium, something like that. Well, one reason for being here is that some of, the weeks, some of the weeks during this summer, I hope to get to some of our Moravian sites that we hear about from time to time, but you may not know where they are or what they do. And I'm talking about things like the Moravian Music Foundation, the Moravian Archives, and um, our provincial offices, things such as that. The Moravian Ministries Foundation is an interprovincial agency of the Moravian Church here in North, North America. And that means it works for, with and both and for both of our provinces here in the southern province of the Moravian Church and in the northern province of the Moravian Church. Part of the purpose of this foundation is to help individuals, churches, and agencies grow and sustain the ministries that are essential to our Moravian faith. A big connection for our church families is a lot of our church funds are invested with the Moravian Ministries Foundation, and we greatly appreciate the work they do. Another connection is how we have used some of the services of this foundation. In more recent years, we have set up some endowments or what we call future funds uh, that we sometimes refer to as buckets. Here's a brochure that we have at the church about them. Uh, these funds are different funds that people can make donations to in several areas of ministries here at King Moravian, such as our music program, our youth, our missions, our funds for our general church operations. And and here, and when they're given, they are invested here through the Moravian Ministries Foundation, and they're there for us when we need them. Chris Small, who's the president of the Moravian Ministries Foundation, has been a great help in getting the funds uh, set up for us. More recently, we have appreciated another staff member, Laura Watson, who is the director of stewardship services for the foundation. At last year's church council, it was announced that we will have a capital campaign, which will begin later this year. At this time, we have a capital campaign steering committee who's working on getting things ready to get the campaign started. Um, and this committee, the, the steering committee, has met with Laura a couple of times, and we have certainly appreciated the help that she and guidance she has given us. Another connection for some of our members with the Moravian Ministries Foundation is those who give online. Those gifts come to the Moravian Ministry Foundation, uh, which then they send it right to us at King Moravian. And they do it without us having to pay for any fee for making transactions online, like we did when we were using pay PayPal. So we greatly thank the Moravian Ministries Foundation for doing that for us. And then another connection for us at King Moravian is we have one of our members who is probably very familiar with where I am right now, and that is our own Paula Hall. Paula is one of the trustees of the Moravian Ministries Foundation, and I'm sure there have been several meetings where Paula has been right here in this room, and we're certainly very thankful for Paula being on this board and thankful for her service to our province. We know the Moravian Ministries Foundation is really more than just this conference room. They have a beautiful office here. If you don't mind, there's some of the brochures that they have. If you don't mind, let me just kind of show you where I am. I'm going to be kind of quiet here because um, they are working here. But you can see this is a hallway here. Just some beautiful pictures and all such as that. Uh, the thing with the Moravian Ministries Foundation sign. Um, as we keep looking around here, you can see a lot of Moravian stuff. Let's see. I mentioned, I mentioned Laura and Chris earlier, and here they are consulting <laughs> each other. Uh, we thank them for what they do. They do a great job for our province, for our Moravian church. Good to see you, Chris. Good to see you, Laura. And, and let's see. They, you see all the Moravian things around here as well? Oh, my goodness. This is so nice. So um, now I'm back here in the conference room, and I'll go ahead and start finishing up the video here. Sorry about any kind of... Uh, motion sickness anybody might get or some of the weird pictures that kind of came through this. Um, but, you know, the other reason I'm doing this video from here has to do with something that happened to me at the recent Senate. Uh, the committee I was on was called Building Generosity, and one of the leaders was Laura. Also meeting with us during Senate was Vince Holbrook, who's the Director of Communication and Marketing here at the, at the Foundation. Vince and I sat beside each other at our committee meetings, and we talked about some of the Moravian Ministries Foundation, 
about what they do. And he said that he would send me some links to our website where those from our church could get information about this foundation and how it can help us as individuals and even help us as a church family. Uh, Vince sent me, the, sent me the, week, the links, and this week I've had a chance to put them on our church's website at kingmoravianchurch.org. Well, speaking of our website, I made a picture of it. Uh, I know some of you are familiar with this. You've been to our website. If you have never been to it, I hope you will. Um, here's some of our church information here, and there's a picture of the church. Over here, you can click on our newsletter. Uh, over here, you can click on for online giving, and this will take you right to the Moravian Ministries Foundation site uh, where you can make your contribution that way. Um, there's something here that you can click for our Sunday bulletin and the insert. Um, here you see where you can click this one on and, and see our during the week video. Uh, also, you can see our most recent worship service with this as well. Uh, up here at the top, there is a word that says links on our website. And I just want to kind of refer to that right now. Um, on this page, it just kind of, and when, when you click that, it takes you to this page of our website. And there you can find several things, such as uh, learning more about Old Salem, our Moravian Church here in the Southern Province, Salem. College. You can just click on there. And then this week, I add the Moravian Ministries Foundation and all the, thi all the things that Vince sent me, uh, such as things such as gifts, pl gift planning to help for Moravians, how to make a gift uh, now, maybe of stocks, real estate, or other assets that will not affect your cash flow during your lifetime. Uh, you can also you can click this one. There's one here you can click to look at the Moravian Will Planning Wizard to get organized. There's something about estate planning. And also there's some free financial calculators to help you make more informed decisions uh, with your finances. So for this During the Week video, besides keeping up with what's happening in our church family, I hope that maybe you've learned a little bit more about the Moravian Ministries Foundation. If you have any questions about it, please let me know. Or better yet, go to our website and click the links, and you're certainly more than welcome to contact some of the great staff that is here. Well, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the week. I hope we see you Sunday. Uh, if you can't make it, please watch us online. And God bless you.